Hey guys, Riverdead here. Welcome back to another daily episode, Cube World. And we're back with Volkswagen and Jane. The new dynamic duo that defeated a Yeti yesterday. I am still freaking out that I got to defeat, defeat a Yeti. The fact that I even saw a Yeti makes me very happy. Thank you very much for dying. We'll vote you. You have no relation to Sirius. Huh, it does work. Interesting. I was informed to use my uh, number three and that it makes things go faster in the right. Thanks. Oh, you guys are all dead. Really, it just works all the time. I don't think they're taking any damage. That was really weird. Hey, now we're getting stereo. Whoop, 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 whoop. Holy crap. Come on, Volkswagen. Let's go up and see what kind of damage you can get in. Today, we are just heading off to the new biome. That is it. That is it. But something very ominous has happened today. Besides me just falling off a cliff and almost dying. Yes, I got home and checked. I'm at 666 subscribers. <laughs> 666. Yeah, I know. It's a number. I know. It means nothing to me either. I know some people think of it as, you know, you know, a bad number, but to me it's just a number. Never bothered me ever. I wonder if I should be able to take these guys on. Of course there's mages. Why wouldn't there be? Ah, get away from me, you. Stop with it, mages. Dang, damn it. That was so darn close. I got a bunch of junk. Volkswagen, you make a lot of noise. It's like you got a broken, uh, you know, one of those beeping things when you back up, like in a truck. You know, I don't know what it is. It's not a horn. It's the thing, the beep, notification thing, whatever. Yeah, so 666 subscribers thought that was kind of funny. Hopefully it'll change by morning. Either up or down, I don't care. I don't want to be here for very long. Like I said, it's just a number to me, but uh, some people think of it as like, you know, bad luck. Which I don't know. It's a number. I don't really put uh, any stock in a numerology or anything like that anyway. Oh, good lord. Can I dot? Oh, is that one of the first times I've actually survived a laser attack? And? Listen, wizard. W where is Volkswagen? He must be hiding. I can't say I blame him. I mean, it's not fun dealing with a couple wizards. There we go. Sick him. Well, that was good. And these guys are not letting up. Okay, this is actually more of a battle than I was expecting. Oh, great. Dang it. There we go. Here, take that and charge. I'll take it. I got some loot off of them anyway, but that, that, was just, that, that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't have to do that much work for nothing. I mean, I mean, we got, oh gosh, XP and stuff. Oh, my legs are so sore today. I just went to go move my legs and I think that they were trying to fall off. They're just not happy with me, not even slightly. If I could snipe this guy from over here. Ah, I did the charge Rooney. There we go. Yeah, I just finished off day three in a row of uh, soon to be four in a row. And I'm not, not, not built for this kind of uh, extra long hours. I've complained many times in the past that I'm not a huge fan of 12 hour shifts, so it's nothing new. But I'm, I really don't like the 12 hour shifts, especially not uh, four in a row. Yeah, because uh, including what I did on Saturday, uh, it's going to be, sorry guys, uh, 60 hours. And then by the time I'm done this weekend, it'll be 70, 72, or sorry, bleh. Yeah, 72 or 84 hours, depending on if I have to work an extra shift or not. So yeah, could suck. Could suck. I might have to work Saturday and Sunday, so I'm not sure yet. I got Sunday for sure, but I'm still in the, up in the air about Sunday or Saturday. So, I'm part of me just is like I don't care. Let the restaurant close. I don't want to work on Saturday. I need two days off. My my body needs to rest and relax and recuperate. And are you bad or good? You're you're bad. Okay, well this is fun. Let's try this. Level three. There we go. Ooh, I'll take that. What is that? Cotton shoulder. That would be for, I think, for a ranger. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Cotton rogue. Okay. Anything here I can use? Rogue. Do it. 
I don't know what I'm learning. I'm just, if it's not red, I'm clicking on it. Not, whoop, there we go. Huh. I got some stuff, so that's good. Got some, uh, oh, that'd be nice to have. Yeah. Eventually I'll get into town and then we'll make some stuff, but is it gonna happen today? Probably not. Looking ahead. Let's look, take a look at the grand scheme of things here. Look at that. Look at the craziness we've gone. What in the world? What is wrong with me? Well, I mean, it's almost 70 episodes. I mean, I have traversed a fair amount of this uh, this land so far. What do you say we guys head over this way? We'll kind of go click, I click, and see what's over that way. And see what this biome is. This this what scares me, though. It's when you, this close to other biomes, it's like you got one here, and it's a long haul to this one. So I might just head up that way. Take the kind of the uh, the long approach. I will do it. We'll just take a little little trek today. Like I mentioned, I am tired, and I uh, I am going to need to rest. But I just wanted to pop in and say hey to everybody, and to catch up because this will be my last video while working. I can actually sleep in on Friday, and kind of if you guys see one come up late on Friday, just because I was exhausted and I didn't get a chance to put it up, I will I will have something. I have one video already scheduled and planned for Friday. Um, I still have to work on another one, so that may happen. I might just work on a couple things on Friday, but I gotta work on stuff for Saturday if I'm gonna do it too, so it's gonna be interesting. This could be a tough weekend for me. Trying to get everything done. Ooh, that was close. Oh, poor Volkswagen. Yeah, I mean, working as much as I have and then, you know, keeping up with three videos a day. I don't know why I did that this week. Of all the silly things to do in one week when you're working as much as you do, you know, you think that, you know, eh, sure, why not? You know, let's, you know, add another video into the mix. 50% more. Oh, good Lord. That's just nuts. But it's been fun. Um, what I do enjoy about it is it allows me to maintain my cube world, which is something that I've always wanted to be able to do. But it also allows me to throw on, like, a static series on top of it. So, like, right now I'm doing Tales from the Borderlands, and then I can actually do a rotating series uh, in between. So, you know, 2, 5, and 7, I've got things kind of planned. And it's not that difficult. Uh, what i got to do, basically, is sit down and play one of each of the games for a day. You know, I sit down for a couple of hours, get, um, you know, uh, pro I, I try to get between 3 and 4 episodes per. And then what that allows me to do is to... Um, in three days, I can do basically a week's worth of videos for the extra stuff. But what I have to do is have that backlog. And I've already burnt through my backlog. So I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do it again or uh, right away. But I'm going to work on it. So if there is a lull between the uh, the three videos a day, you'll understand. Oh, I'm sure you'll understand anyway. I don't think anybody really cares. It's more of a thing for me than anything else. The only thing I've heard is uh, people saying, Boy, you've been putting up a lot of videos. So Yes, I have. I've been busy. Hey, look, families, snout beetles. What are you guys? You nice? Of course not. You jerks. And I, and I decided to drink a potion instead of riding my Volkswagen. Come here, bug. Man, I wish you had wings. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to run into anything. Let me take a look. This is what I was planning on doing, seeing if anything kind of popped up in the... Am I stuck on something? No. Are you kidding me? I was actually running properly throughout the... That's cool. Let's do this again. Yeah, I was just trying to take a look and see if anything was, you know, showing up, but I don't see anything. I will go a little bit further and see how everything's going. So I hope everyone is doing very well today. I know I try to say that every day. Some days I forget to put it at the beginning. Some days it happens a little bit later. But it's happens because I do. I, I hope everyone does do well. And that's an honest thing. Uh, now, I, I have been asked a couple of times in the past um, about uh, people wanting me to join up with them. Like, you know, here's my Skype or here's, um, you know, I'd like to play Cube World with you and all that. And I try to respond to those kind of questions um, in, in the comment section. And I'm always worried that it comes across that I'm being a bit of a jerk. So I thought I would try to address it here. I have addressed it in the past, but, you know, I haven't forbid. I, I have no expectations that people are following every video that I do. So if you happen to catch one where I mention this kind of thing, 
you might be able to understand why I do the things that I do. Uh, when I started YouTube, I made a conscious decision uh, to only do collaborations with people that either A, I watched um, do videos like that people that I was fans with, fans of, or uh, people that I've met through friends. Uh, and I've had the very good fortune of um, meeting people this way. Um, I've done the only collaboration that I've done kind of sight unseen where I was sent the information was the pre-update guys. But all I did was um, I got uh, Flash Toro and sent me a message saying that, you know, they, they liked my cube world. They were planning on doing the pre-update. I wanted to know if I wanted to join them. And I said, <clears throat> uh, it sounds interesting, um, but I don't just join things like that, you know, on spur of the moment. I would like to know who I'm, you know, joining up with. And so what he did is he sent me the, the, um, the YouTube pages, you know, links for all the pages for everyone that was going to be involved. And I noticed that they all had Cube World, and I like their style, and I'm like, yeah, this will work. And I'm very happy that I did that because I've actually, you know, made three new friends out of that, and that's really cool for me. But when I just get random comments in the comment section saying, hey, I'd like to play Cube World with you, you know, here's my Skype, that kind of thing. And I know it's people that are just fans. And this is where it gets weird. This is where I don't want to come off being a jerk. Um, the reason that I don't just kind of play randomly against people and, you know, is just for the fact that <clears throat> I don't know you guys, you know, the people that ask first off. And um, I don't always, it's not that I would think anyone would try to do anything malicious, but there's always that fear. Uh, you know, that somebody could be, you know, kind of nasty or just kind of get me put into an awkward position. And the reason that I say this is that I'm a father and I have a child uh, who is now finally a teenager. If my son reached out to some guy that was doing YouTube that happened to be an older man like me in his late 40s, and then that guy was saying, sure, let's go play Cube World together, me as a parent, that would kind of send up a red flag. And so the reason that I don't do that is because I wouldn't appreciate it if somebody would do that to my child. Not that I would ever have ulterior motives. Not that, you know, anything like that would ever happen. It's just the fact that it's ju it, it just sets the wrong precedent. And that's just something I personally won't do. Um, and like I said, that's why I, I'm always very cautious about who I play the games with. Now, that being said, and that's just for me doing like a, a personal one-on-one -on -one phone call. I have no issues if I'm on a public server... Or if I'm playing and we're recording with a couple of my friends. And like, I did that with Trove a few times. Where I was like, yeah, I'm doing a live stream. You guys want to pop in to uh, play Trove? Just kind of hang out and become a face wrecker. And we did that. We had a whole bunch of people that were coming around and joining in our fun. And they were chatting through the game interface. You know, it was all tech stuff. And Armour and I would play. And we would talk amongst ourselves. And then we would try to respond to the chat. That's That, for me, is cool. I have no issues with that because... That's just meeting up on a game and playing. It's when you have that personal interaction, the one-on-one -on -one where you're actually having a conversation. That's where I would draw the line. And I hope you guys understand that, you know? Because like I said, me as a father, there is that kind of gray area. And, and I just, I don't want to ever, I don't want anybody to just, to ever get into trouble over something that shouldn't be trouble. If that makes any sense at all. I probably have muddled the, the whole thing and you guys are confused, as, but it's just... Let me just put it this way and then clear it up is that I just don't, you know, I just don't do it. And it's as simple as, is that, oh, I thought it was a giant beetle, but I guess I was wrong. And I've rambled for way too long and I haven't accomplished a thing, but we walked. Holy cow, look how far we went today. Do I, oh yeah, let's walk into a tree. Well, let's climb up to the top of this tree here and then we will uh, decide what's going to happen from there. Yeah, so hopefully I didn't, you know, get weird there like i was trying to explain things and it's hard it's an awkward thing you know it just yeah and I, I i do appreciate when people want to play the games and i, and I love that because of the fact that you know i love playing video games too and you know i would love to play video games with some of the youtubers that i love i mean there's a whole bunch that like i've mentioned in the past like my son and i uh, i first started watching youtube because of paul Soros jr and if I ever had the opportunity to play video games with Paul Soros, I'd probably fall over because like, I'm a huge fan of, of what he does. 
And, you know, he's like me. You know, he's a father. He plays games with his kids. Um, he, he's what I would consider a responsible person. And he's really proactive in his community and really just proactive with uh, the gaming community in general. I think it's it's amazing. And I use him personally as a role model. So I would think that, you know, if that opportunity ever came for me to, to do that, I would just be freaking out. And also, if my son ever had a chance to play with Paul Soares, I'd be like, hey, well, what about me? I'd be more jealous than anything else. So, But that's just me. Anyway, let's take a look. We are far away still, and I still don't see a darn thing. That was weird. Hopefully my recording caught up. I hate when that happens. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you guys tomorrow in our next episode of Cube World. And like I said, if it's a little late, bear with me. Like I said, it's going to be uh, just finishing off 60 hours of work. And I'm tired today. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow, but ugh, I tell you, it's been a week. But thank you again for all your support here, guys. And I hope my rambling didn't come off you know, mean or stupid. Probably came off me being silly because, like I said, I'm exhausted as it is. And you know, here I'm trying to have a serious conversation about things and probably just screwed up the whole thing and I sound like an idiot. But eh, let me know. It wouldn't be the first time I've been an idiot here on on YouTube, and it probably won't be the last. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.